Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and in this video we'll be continuing our tutorial for the first person controller and here I'll be answering a particular question where someone asked me um sling boy 532 he asked me um if I can be able to create um a first person controller with a camera where you can be able to use the mouse to control uh the camera itself so uh, the major thing is I've tried uh, various ways to be able to create this, but it's difficult to, in fact, it is uh, currently not possible because you don't have a method for assessing the motion for the mouse, the mouse motion right here in 3D for visual scripting in Godot. So uh, you can be able to do that in 2D. If you have 2D, you can have access to a method that controls the, the, the mouse motion. But in 3D, we don't have that. So the only thing that I would suggest is that you can be able to create um, a sort of control using the keyboard. So additional uh, buttons, you can use your W and S. So right now, the only thing that we can be able to do on this game is that we can be able to move around, but we cannot be able to look up or down. So the thing we're going to be doing with the camera right now, imagine if you want to look up to the ceiling or down on the floor. So right now we can just go like this. So, but imagine if you want to look up, you can't do that right now. So we're going to use the camera control to do that. So, but it's not possible yet. The, the method for controlling the, the camera using the mouse motion is not yet um, working properly. In fact, we don't have that yet inside the visual scripting in Godot in 4.2 here. So uh, I, I, I probably think that maybe in the future it will be added and it will be very easy for people to create a very interesting things using uh, the mouse motion. So they can be able to use the mouse motion to control the camera. So let's just go ahead and do that now. So okay, I think I already have the camera here. So I'm going to put this code directly on the camera. Now, uh, the best thing for you to do is to have a node to control the camera. So you can be able to have easy uh, control on it. So I'm just going to add uh, a node here, a node 3D. So um, when I add this node 3D, it's going to be just here. So I'm going to call this my camera uh, control. And I'm going to drag this under here, okay? So right here, you still have the camera there and the camera control just somewhere here. So if you move up now, you see that the camera, you know, goes uh, with it. So um, I would like to bring down the camera here a bit so that they are both you know, almost at the center of the same axis. Okay, so we'll have these here. So I'm going to be adding the, the, the code to this camera control here so that we can be able to move this to make it rotate. So I will right click and I will go ahead to add my scripts and this camera control and I'll go over here like we always do and put all our scripts in the same place. I'm going to call this camera control. I think I already have a um, camera controller. Let me call this underscore two. Camera controller two. So I'm going to just open that and make sure it's orchestrator and I'll create this here. So right now we want to be able to bring out um, the panels. Yes, yeah, so we'll be seeing all the codes that we already have. So the first thing I want to do is um, I'm going to get my function. I will use my process. I like to use the process. So when I drop the process here, I'm going to get a um, something to control this. So the same thing we did the last time, we can still be able to drag this and get the while, sorry, sequence. We'll get a sequence and we just need to, about two sequences here. We need to, we just need two of them here. So I'm just gonna drag this and go for a branch. And the same thing, action. So right now, um, you have to create uh, the W and S. So let me check whether I already have that. So you can go to your project, go to your project settings, and if you go to your input map, so if you look at here, I already have uh, some things. I have my lookup and my look down. So that's W and S. 
So if you want to create this, if you don't know how to create this, you can just simply uh, type in here. Let's call this a uh, jump. So I can just do a uh, jump and I can be able to add. So when you add it here now, you can be able to click here. And if you press, um, let's say, uh, want to jump to be the space bar, you can press the space bar and it will get you the space bar immediately there. And you can just click OK. So that means that whenever you press the space bar, uh, it will be it will be for the jump command. You, uh, when you go to the actions, you see the jump over there. So I'm just going to close that and I will select this and I will go to my drag this down. So I have uh, my look up there. So I can just drag this in here and I'll go over here to put a control. So I'm going to right click and I'll put a rotate. So if I go over here, I have my different rotations here. So I would like to use, uh, let's check this axis first. So the axis we want it to be rotating is on this axis here, this red axis, and that's the X axis. So we want it to be rotating like this up and down. Okay. So it should be on this red axis here. So I'm just going to go ahead to the orchestrator and right click again, rotate, and I will do call rotate X. So I can just go over here and put this here. So I will select here and just make it about zero point. Uh, let's see, 0 0.06, let's do that. And I'll just like testing my code to be sure what we're doing. So if you go forward and that, if you press W, see it goes up. So that's what it does until you bring it back again. So um, it, do, it has a very strange uh, way of you know looking. So you just have to be careful whatever you're doing. So you just make sure that you control this. So I'm not sure there is a constraint. Maybe I'll check whether it's a constraint. So I'll just remove that and um, I'll just select this, drag this again, branch. And I'll just du duplicate this and put this here and duplicate that and put this here. And put this here. So this will be minus. Now, for for those that don't understand, uh, if you actually right click and go for mouse uh, motion, you won't see uh, any way of being able to control the mouse motion. But if you are on a 2D scene, so let's say for example, uh, let me go to a 2D scene that I have here. I think I have a 2D scene here in my pause screen here. Right click and say mouse. So if you look at here, you can get the global mouse position. So whenever the, the mouse is moving, it can be able to actually get its position so uh, or motion itself. But in your 3D scene, you don't have the ability to do that. So once you're in a 3D scene like this, this is a 3D scene that controller to right click now and type motion, sorry, mouse. So you see that you cannot be able to find that global um, position of the mouse. You can't get that. You can't even get the mouse motion. So uh, probably there might be other ways of doing this. And please, if you know uh, other ways of being able to implement this, you can put that in the comments below. Um, that's using the visual scripting. I know it's possible, very much possible, you know, using your GD script, but we are talking about uh, trying to do that in visual scripting. So probably uh, I hope that maybe in the future, we're going to have a, a mouse, a global mouse position here, whenever we type it right here in the 3D scene. So, but currently it's not available. So I'll just go ahead to uh, make sure I have everything here. So I have minus. I would like to even decrease this so that it will be a bit slower. So I'm just going to make this four. Okay. So I have look up. Okay. And look at that. So we didn't change this. Look up and look down. So we have uh, two the same button then to this different down instead of look down. So you have to be careful with all this because these are different, these things represent uh, real buttons and real controls. So look down. Uh, okay, so that's look up and look down. Click here. Let's be sure. Okay, I'm very sure now. So just right click, play the game. So you can go forward, you can rotate, and you can look up, look down. 
So you can look up, look down. You can always, you know, turn around. So uh, I think this controls uh, everything. I know um, using the mouse to control things is better, but uh, I think the, this really does uh, something very good for you. So if, even if you need uh, somewhere you can be able to look up and you know to different directions, uh, this will do that for you. So I'm using W and S to uh, move around, to look up and down. So you can use the arrow keys to move you know, left and right. So uh, in the next video, we'll be um, adding a, a countdown timer so we can be able to uh, maybe time uh, this particular game so that uh, once a particular time elapses, uh, we can be able to you know put up a game, a game over screen. So uh, in future, we'll be making this door to open automatically. So it should be uh, basically uh, a game of you know dodge and uh, um, move so you actually keep moving and this thing should be animated so that you don't touch the boxes you have to dodge them and then you reach to where you want to be and it opens the door for you and you can be able to pass through the door so um that's basically all we can be able to do for this video and if you have any other question on camera controller uh, you can put that down in the comments below all right Please do like my videos and um, share them and uh, subscribe to my channel because that helps me a lot. So uh, I hope to see you in the next video.